What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be comparing the Fast Hands perk with the Gung Ho perk in relation to sprint out time in Black Ops 3. This is a video that has definitely been requested from me quite a bit since I covered how Fast Hands works. I actually covered two videos on that, one without Quick Draw, one with Quick Draw. I will link those down below if you're interested in seeing more about that. But a lot of people want, want to know which is better for sprint out time. Is it uh, Fast Hands or is it Gung Ho? Let's get into it. All right, guys, so I just want to clear this up at the beginning here. This video is only focusing on sprint out time. I'm not looking at the other aspects of these perks that don't really cross over. So uh, things like being able to swap your weapons faster or throw equipment faster with fast hands or your ability to sprint and shoot at the same time with gung ho. We're not looking at those things. We're only looking at sprint out time with this video. So first, I did a baseline test with the KRM. This is with no attachments, no perks, nothing like that. And in the first scenario here, I sprinted, and to come out of sprint, I pressed the fire button and nothing else. That's what brought me out of sprint, and it took a total of 250 milliseconds. This is the sprint out time for the KRM. Next, I decided to try it by aiming down sight to come out of sprint, as well as firing at the same time. So to come out of sprint, I hit aim down sight, as well as the fire button at the exact same time. And as we would expect, based on our knowledge from the previous videos that I've done, it is exactly the same. It's unchanged. It's 250 milliseconds. Next up, we tested the KRM with fast hands and not gung ho on this, and our sprint out time is essentially cut in half in both cases with this. Now, it, it technically would be hard coded to be cut in half. Just keep in mind there is a little bit of frame rounding involved. So technically, it'll be 125 milliseconds sprint out time, but because of frame rounding, it ends up being 133 milliseconds, which still is essentially cut in half. This is exactly what we'd expect based on our previous testing of fast hands. It cuts your sprint out time in half. Now let's move on to Gung Ho. And this was a result that really surprised me. So this is Gung Ho with no fast hands. And the sprint out time when you're using the fire button to come out of sprint, like you're trying to fire your gun to come out of sprint, is actually 250 milliseconds. It's the same as when you have no attachments on or no perks on whatsoever. This was really surprising to me because I always had that impression that if you're using Gung Ho, your sprint out time was essentially zero since you can... Uh, you can fire while sprinting. There still is a transition and a sprint out time when you're using Gung Ho for when you initially start firing. It's just once you start firing, you can continue to fire as long as you are, are maintaining that steady fire rate the whole time. So if you're using the fire button to come out of sprint while using Gung Ho, it's not going to be helping you at all as far as sprint out time goes. But I was actually searching the Den Kirsten forums and a few guys had posted in this one thread, which I will link down below. And they were saying, if you use the aim down sight button to come out of sprint rather than the fire button to come out of sprint, you will be able to fire your gun instantly. So if you press aim down sight and fire at the same time while using gung ho and coming out of sprint, you can fire instantly. And I did the testing and they're completely correct on this you can fire nearly instantly out of sprint as long as you use the aim down sight button to break your sprint rather than the fire button. So this is something that's really important to note for you shotgun users out there especially that really want to get that shot off like instantly after coming out of sprint if you sprint around a corner or something and run into an enemy, press that aim down sight button at the same time that you're pressing fire. Now you won't get fully aim down sight or anything, but that doesn't matter. You're just trying to get that shot off as fast as possible. Now, I'm not too sure if this mechanic is intentional or if it is a bug or a glitch or something like that, but it definitely does work. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.